is with us in Pittsburgh. Hey, Kat, welcome to the Ramsey Show. Hi, Dave. How are you today? Thank you for having me. My honor. What's up? Um, yes, I just wanted to give you a little bit of background about me. Um, I'm married currently. We just got ma- Mark and I just got married on May 7th, and um, we are currently debt-free, um, thank the Lord. <laughs> and um, we have approximately um, about 70 to 80 k in liquid, and we make collectively right around 70 to 75 yearly. And what we are doing right now is we're renting an apartment. So with our rental, um, rent and utilities, our expenses are right around 850 to 900 a month. Um, and right now, uh, we do have some crypto investments, and we'd really like to get into retail. Um, I'm sorry, real estate investment as well. But we're not sure if maybe either moving into a duplex for our first home would be the right choice as far as making. Um, you know, having a place to move into and obviously making some investment on the other side of that duplex. Or if maybe we should like buy a smaller home, fix it up, and within a year's time, maybe move out of that to another one and then just rent that home out or flip it. Um, but that's what we wanted to ask you. Okay. Well, I think a, uh, a precursor to the answer is uh, the rule that we use at Ramsey is we give you, we answer your questions of what we would do knowing what we know if we woke up in your shoes okay mm-hmm. and uh, I by the time I started with nothing and by the time I was 26 I bought four million dollars worth of real estate I was doing flip this house before Chip and Joanna were born okay. literally I mean I'm not kidding it was the early <laughs> 80s right and um, no disrespect to them but because they're wonderful but the uh, mm-hmm. um, you know and uh, I, I was using short-term notes to borrow money to flip the house and make a profit. I made a profit on almost every deal I did, and I still went broke mm-hmm. because the bank got nervous and called all our notes at one time, and there's a word we use for real estate that sells really fast, cheap. So we ended up selling the real estate for less than it was owed on it, which was way less than it was worth to keep foreclosures from happening, and it broke me. And I lost everything in my 20s. Okay, so that's who's answering your question. I, by the way, do love real estate. I own several hundred million dollars worth of real estate today. But after that, I quit borrowing money. And so that's the guy and the place that you called to get your question answered. You need to know that is in fairness, okay? So if you want to do flip this house with money, uh, borrowed money and all that kind of stuff, you're really on the wrong show. You're not going to do what we tell you to do. Mm-hmm. Okay. So having said all that, uh, you know, here's my answer on duplexes as your first property. And then here's my answer Mm -hmm. of what we would do if we woke up in your shoes. Uh, The beautiful thing about a duplex is your renter lives next door. The problem with a duplex is your renter lives next door. Mm -hmm. Can you tell I've been there? Okay. Mm -hmm. So if they want something, they can knock on your door, but you also don't have much trouble collecting the rent because they're right there. Cars in the driveway, Mm -hmm. you know, and so we're going to get our money. Uh, We don't have to wait on some uh, thing to happen. And so it's a, you have to set some relational, emotional boundaries. If you're going to do that, that's the problem. It's not that bad. The biggest issue I had with duplexes and I've owned, I don't know, uh, probably a hundred of them is that the, uh, typically are rental properties and so typically the buyer when you get ready to resell them is another investor who's Mm -hmm. looking for a deal the buyer when you get ready to sell that same square footage of house as a duplex in a single family is a cute little couple that wants a picket fence and a place for their french bulldog to run around feels like a personal attack yeah it was a personal attack george just take it for what it is and they're willing to pay more like retail and so mm-hmm. single family homes of the same square footage within a two block area will go up faster in value than duplexes will because of who your pool of buyer future buyers are in general. Now, a mm-hmm. nice duplex will outperform a lousy single family neighborhood. I'm not talking about it. I'm talking about apples to apples comparison, okay? Mm-hmm. So if you could find a really cool duplex in an up and coming sweet regentrified neighborhood, 
might be a real seriously good play, right, versus buying a dumpy single family, okay? So that that's your upsides and downsides on duplexes. What would I do if I woke up in your shoes? And, George, I'll let you chime in after the personal attack. But the uh, – is I would pay cash for my first home as soon as I can, and you're very close to doing that once you have decided you don't like losing 50% of your money in Bitcoin. And so mm-hmm. – um, How much do you guys have in crypto? Just curious. Um, well, since we just got married, we haven't merged all that yet. I really don't know how much he has. I have approximately just shy of ten grand. Okay. Okay. You guys mm-hmm. are m- much. You, you like risk more than I do, but I've been broke. That's another thing you need to mm-hmm. keep in mind. I, I'm, I'm. I don't like risk much. I don't like losing money. I lost a bunch of it, and it's too hard to make. I don't like losing it. So, and and I know that because you're playing with. Um, lottery money over there cryptos you know you've lost your butt on it and um, and all and stand around acting like you did something cool you know it's just it's 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 horrible so I'd be getting out of that I'd be buying some real estate that I pay cash for George yeah I mean you guys don't have a home currently right primary residence right so that would be my first goal mm-hmm. I wouldn't mess with the duplex and plus they're really hard to find right now because you're not the only one who had this awesome idea and so if I'm you, I'm getting into a primary residence with the money you have, put a strong down payment down, work on paying that off as soon as possible, and then, man, the world is your oyster. Pay cash getting for this your, pay, real estate. Pay, what I did after I went broke, Cat, was I got my house paid off. took me a little while. Then I saved up and I paid pay cash for my first rental. Not the sexiest answer, though. And they you, know, you, know what happen, you know what happens with a rental that you have zero debt on? It cash flows like a bandit. It starts just stacking money up. And able to pay cash for the second one fairly quick. And you got two of them sitting there with zero payments. You're just stacking money. And you can buy the third one. Then you're just stacking money. And ever since then, I've been just stacking money. And then I have some idiot walk up to me and go, you're so lucky. Luck didn't have squat to do with it, Duber. I used a system and a process, you know. But, Dave, the renter's going to pay my mortgage. No, they don't. Because renters don't always pay. Can you say pandemic? Can you say eviction moratorium? Mm. Yeah. 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 You can't get them out. And you know what? I had some people that were had some serious problems during COVID, and I could be gentle as a landlord. Because you don't need the money. Because I didn't have Not to desperate. have the money to eat. You know, I have one that had cancer. I don't throw somebody has got cancer in the street. I'm not heartless. Now, you know. You beat your wife and you don't pay your bills, I'll put your crap in the street. But, you know, but the thing is, you know, you can be gentle when you don't have any payments. And it changes their whole world, Cat. It takes a little longer, but I've done detailed research and 100% of the foreclosures occur on a home with a mortgage. 